Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks with another video in a series of different ways to create related records. So the normal way that FileMaker works in a portal is you'd have a checkbox on your relationship like so that allows you to create records through the portal relationship. And here's how that would look. So on the portal, you'd be able to click into uh, the, the line at the bottom of the portal. So you'd always have that blank line there. And then you would just type a note like this is a test and spell it correctly. And then choose the date. So you have to kind of put uh, information in what you wanted to do. So for example, this is 2-1. Um, and then it would appear in your list and then be sorted kind of the way that you want. OK, so the reason I don't like that method and we don't use it very much is because once you get to the bottom of the list, it's really not obvious at all for the user that they have to scroll. Also, they have to kind of go to the bottom, and I think it kind of is more natural to start at the top. And also because this checkbox is sort of just confusing this blank line at the bottom. So here's what I would recommend. Um, first of all, uncheck that box in the relationship, and that solves that problem of that blank line at the bottom. Um, and then create a new field in a globals table. It could be any table called gnote. Set it to be globally stored. Um, and then when you add that field to the layout, you can add it uh, directly above and to the right, usually, uh, of the field where you want. And I just have a table called prefs, and here's gnote right there. And then usually what I'll do is um, I'll put like a, something inside of that field saying, you know, click here to add a note, something like that. Okay, so what do we do next? Uh, the next thing we would do is put a script trigger on this. So say set script trigger on object save, which is the one that I definitely like the best. And then write a script called create note. And what this will do is it will um, go to the layout of that note context. Um, so uh, we've got a bunch of different layouts here. And I think I just have one called note. It will make a new record. It will uh, set the field uh, into that note context, the, the text of the note. So in the note, set the text to whatever's in that global field. So that's prefs and then the G note uh, data. And then we might want to do other stuff. Let's iterate and start stop right there. Uh, of course, the one thing we definitely have to do is we have to come back to our original layout. And also, before we do any of that, we have to know the key. Um, so we have to know the, uh, the key that we're starting with. So that's going to be the ID of the customer that we're starting with, um, because we have to write that as a foreign key in the note table. So that's is ID foreign gets set to just plain dollar ID. Okay, so let's see that what this looks like at the first pass here. So if I click into the field and type another test, that will create a record and it automatically puts it there at the bottom, um, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's see how can we improve that a little bit. Um, for one, we'd, we'd want to really clear this when we're done. I think that would make a lot of sense to do. So let's go back to our script. So at the end, we'd want to, um, I think I just deleted something I didn't mean to. We'd want to um, uh, set that field um, the, in the press table. The gnote field needs to get set to nothing because we want to definitely clean up after we go. Uh, I also think another nice thing to do would be to highlight the note. So the newly created note, um, I think it would be cool if it was bold or something like that. So after we create that record, we can set um, a variable ID note. Actually, that would be a global script variable to the ID of the newly created note record in the note table. Another thing I think I'd want to do here um, while I'm at it is I want to mark the date of the note to today's date because by default it's going to be get current date. And I want to mark the note as having been completed. 
So there's an is done field, a Boolean, like a checkbox field. I'll just set that to one. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and uh, mark this field. So if you click into the field, I'll put a um, placeholder text um, that says uh, enter, enter new note. Right, and then, so we see a clear sign, we can enter new note. Um, so this 271, we never really finished. Um, so if I click in here and say enter new note, I can say, you know, follow up again. And when I hit enter, it automatically will create a note. It dates it for today. And I see follow up again showing up right here. But what I don't yet see is the highlight. So here's how I, here's how I accomplish that. I just put some conditional formatting on this. And I say, um, if it's a calculation, it's going to be that global variable called um, dollar dollar ID. If I can type, if the ID of the note is the same as the line item that we're looking at, that's going to be CU note ID. Then we can do something like bold the text, uh, or maybe even change the fill color or something like that. So we can kind of make it more obvious that that's the selected line. And there you go. So if I were to make another note in here, like this yet another test, as soon as I create the note, it's going to do all of these steps. Create the file, mark it as done, set it to today's date, and highlight it. And then I've got this sorted uh, so that the future notes that are not yet done are showing up as undone meetings. Um, actually, this one's supposed to be for a different year. but Anyway, so this is how this works. Um, it's pretty basic, a really simple technique, a very, very short script, and really simple and clear for users to use. Thanks very much for your time.